Alex Gittings. I work at uh, IP Fabric. And the problem we had is that a lot of our customers use Netbox, but they also use a product that we supply called IP Fabric that will do automatic discovery of a network. Um, it will discover all the devices that we support, different things like interfaces, technologies, etc. And a lot of our customers wanted the ability to be able to synchronize that into a tool like uh, Netbox so that they can have it as a single source of truth to be able to start generating configuration from the data that's within Netbox. And it's a great addition in 3.5 of being able to actually have the configuration generated because that's a, a great use, use case in that you could discover a brownfield environment populate a source of truth like netbox and then generate an instant configuration pretty much within a short amount of time so uh, i'll show ip fabric has discovered for example uh i don't know if that's shown there but 76 devices here and what we wanted was the ability to synchronize these devices interfaces ip addresses that belong to those interfaces up to uh netbox so Luckily, we had a call with Jeremy, and uh, Jeremy was also looking to in have the ability to propose and stage changes. So within 3.4, uh, Jeremy released the ability to, if I go to the 3.4 release notes, uh, add an API for stage changes. So this allows people within a plugin to be able to propose changes to Netbox that is actually not committed to the database. So it'll stay in a separate part of uh, the database. And then you can choose to merge that proposed, configure, proposed, proposed database changes to the actual uh, uh, netbox itself. So we've built a, a proof of concept plugin at the moment. So the idea is we want to synchronize these 76 devices into netbox. I have, a, I have netbox here, it's totally blank, totally empty, zero everything no sites, no devices, et cetera. And we're running 3.4.3 at the moment. So I have a plugin down here called IP Fabric. I've added some uh, credentials, so the API token from uh, IP Fabric, et cetera, within the, the Python configuration of Django. And we IP Fabric has the ability to work based on snapshots. So we, over time, as your net, your network changes and you discover new devices and your network changes, we're able to see the, the reflection in, in what we call snapshots. So between these two snapshots, we can see the 76 devices and then we add more, so the 80 odd devices. What we'll do is just sync the baseline snapshot we have here. So when we select the snapshot, you can select what to synchronize. And when you select that, it will show the sites that you can synchronize at the moment. And if we change that, for example, go to this one here, the UI will automatically update and query IP fabric for the, the sites that are available to sync. So we'll go back to the one we want to synchronize. Uh, I'll select the default, which is everything. I press sync and it starts a worker in the Redis uh, worker in the background and will start processing the information of what to sync into Netbox. But just remember the 3.4 introduced the staged um, stage changes functionality. So we can see that we've ingested those uh, 76 devices. If we select stage changes, it kind of, the UI is not the best at the moment, it's a work in progress, but shows the proposed changes that we would make to Netbox. So it'll create a site, create a manufacturer, device type, platform, role, device interface, if the interface has got an IP address, et cetera, it will add, it will add, the, add the lot. We have the ability to merge the uh, synchronized changes. Oh, I'll just show you quickly that there's nothing in Netbox still. We've got a merge job running now. So that when that's completed, it will commit that to the database. And if we go to sites now, we've got all the sites that we had in IP Fabric. If we go to the devices, we've got all the devices. And again, it's added the IP address of that device, the primary IP address. It's added all the interface, interface descriptions, IP addresses for those. So you can easily bootstrap using something like IP Fabric, a discovery tool, 
and a, using a plugin within Netbox to sync to bootstrap the source of truth and start using some Netbox to derive intent out of your network. So then you could go and start changing the interface description, start generating configuration. And the idea is that once you've made a change to the network, you could do a rediscovery and then compare the change of what is actually configured on the network uh, against the intended change in Netbox. So you could say the that what is configured in, in the network is not in the intent, is the idea. Um, so it's a brief overview of the plugin. I've been working on it for a, a little bit, but uh, yeah, plenty more things to do. Like some of our customers want the ability to do a diff of before and after, what it will change, etc. And you can also um, see the synchronization history, etc., the version of IP Fabric and, and whatnot. So that's a brief overview. Feel free to ask any questions uh, about that that plugin or what reasons why. Yeah, it's pretty slick, Alex. And I, I may not have mentioned this um, at the top of we were introducing everything, but at the end of each presentation, we're going to leave a couple extra minutes for Q&A. So yeah, if anyone has any questions for Alex uh, about what he showed or, or his thoughts on anything, feel free to speak up. Have you open yeah. sourced the code for the plugin? Not yet, but it will be open sourced, yeah. So for our customers to to use it as they wish. Once we have a like an alpha or it's 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 like alpha at the moment. We've got some customers testing it, but um once we have like a beta release, we'll we'll be open sourcing it from then. Awesome. I, there was one question in the chat. I think it was uh, Ed Daniel who asked um how discovery is being done, if you want to just touch on that real briefly. Yeah, so um, the IP fabric discovery is very simple. We log into as many devices as we can via SSH. And uh, our discovery method is that we try and connect to as many neighbors of that device to increase that, the, the range of discovery. Um, and then once we've discovered a device, we discover the vendor model, et cetera, and then start running a bunch of show commands, just as a network engineer would uh, do an initial discovery or troubleshooting process so show up table show root table etc and we fan out from there and build a, a large database of devices and the technologies that they're running so that we can have accurate topologies we can do things like end-to-end -end path tracing through the network and whatnot um, but the idea is that we want us our customers that are looking to one doing automation um, they need something to be able to have that intent and, and a lot of our customers are using netbox so that's the idea of the plugin is to take the discovery piece and assurance piece move it into an intent platform like netbox where you can define the intent and then you get a full cycle of you might have ansible using um, configuration contexts as uh, to generate configuration push it to a device trigger a a new snapshot of your environment using IP fabric and then validate that what is actually configured is what as netbox is intending. Cool. I don't, I don't know if this is a little too secret sauce, but you say you're SSHing in. Are you, are you guys using something like Scraply? Or are you basically screen scraping that output or do you have something more? Yeah. Fancy? So uh, we, are essentially running show commands and, and passing the results in okay. IP fabric, yes, but we it's all custom software that our engineers have developed in house uh, as part of our product. So uh, I have a question. It looks like IP fabric is a, a pretty mature product at this point. So I'm curious, what is Netbox doing for you that you don't already have a solution for? So our platform doesn't allow you to, for example, proposed changes to a network that's where netbox comes in of being able to store that intent um we we collect the data we can make it visual and we can provide assurance but we don't we don't allow the users to change values to then derive the intent so the idea is we do what we do very well we don't want to step on anyone else's to toes so a lot of people say why do you not do configuration push and that's because there's Ansible, many open source tools that do that. If you go commercial, Itential, 
you can go to to other vendors as well um, we want to gather the data assure that it's correct and have the platforms that you want in place to be able to do that configuration push or um, every 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 customer every company has their own method whether it's netbox a mix of netbox service now um uh info blocks for example for ipam um got to be able to work within the ecosystem i think it's important that we we solve what we want to solve and that the customer has the the tools to be able to do all the everything else So that's that's the partnership between IP Fabric and Netbox. It's awesome. Well, thank you, Alex. Um, no that was really cool to see. I I know I've been hearing little drips and drabs that that you guys were working on something. So it, it's really cool to actually uh, see it in front of me. Yep. No problem. Awesome.